Picasso got a um district. So let's go read that next line. Following line is Nikure no Kimi wa uh, Kaneto Kenryo no Tamenara Teka o Sukut 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 Chikara Zukure Nande Mo Suru Hi, so Tsuku Tsukuru Tsuku Sorry, I'll write it down Tsukuru is to build something. This right here is tsukau, tsukatte. So rather than ku, it is ka, tsukatte, to use. Tsukatte. Tsukatte, right, so to use. Right, so let's start with our nada. Nara. Nara is if hypothetical. Kane to kenryoku no tame for the purpose of money and kenryoku. Right, it's kind of like influential power. Kenryoku. Kenryoku. If for the purpose of money and influence, te ka o skatte chikara zuku de nande mo suru. He will use. He will use even such a thing as he will use even such a thing as the su chikara sugude. So even power... is a little bit odd to put it there since even is down here. Basically, non demo has the even in it, but tsukate doesn't actually have the word even in it, even though it is related to what's going here. But he's not even using, he's even nan demo suru. Basically, like, what is he using? Any anyway? Hi. Um, nan demo suru. Right. To use any, any means. Hi. Sugude. No, this is chikara zugude. It's um, a phrase. It means I'm with brute force. Chikara zugude. Chikara zugude. With brute force, any means use. Teka o sukatte. To use, to make use of the power, uh, to make use of the minions by brute force. Any means. Hi. To do any type of thing possible using brute for force, using their minions. It's kind of hard because de is the tool de, so that's the brute force. And then we have before that, using his minions with brute force, he'll do anything he wants. If it's for the purpose of influence or power. Money, clarify. Hi, hi, hi. Zugu. Chikara Zugu. Zugu is is the word that means exceed. I'm not sure. Excess. I'm not sure. It looks like Zugu Z means Zugu? putting oneself into something or exerting oneself. Are you thinking about Sugiru, perhaps, which is to exceed? Sugiru. Yeah, I think about like money, like to expend beyond a certain amount or too much of something like too much strength too much uh too much of an adjective of some sort probably i think, sugiru. I saw the word I think sugiru. you're thinking about sugiru. sugiru 
right? Both of these have su. There's no zu in these. Um, sugu without a zu means soon. And this can refer to soon in time and soon in location, meaning close. Um, because it is a adverb. Sugiru means too much, to exceed. Like tabe sugita means I ate too much. Chikara su um uh, chio sugiru too powerful. Zuku here, as far as I know, is its own thing to mean by brute force, with chikara being power, de being te, I mean de for tool, meaning by in this case, and sugu just kind of modifying that. Because you see it says zugu means to exert oneself. So exert oneself with power is with brute force. Or as you can see right here, we have zugu with this kanji, which is used like, um kind of like the use up kanji, which is the relying on something, right. which is a totally different kanji than um, sugiru, which is this kanji versus um, the zuku they're doing them here with, uh, doesn't really pop up there, but yeah. So no relationship. All right, homonyms. Well, they're pronounced differently, so okay. they're not actually homonyms, right? That's like saying I... cat and hat are homonyms. I mean, they're similar sounding, but they're not the same word. Stationary and stationary are homonyms, because stationary can mean paper, or stationary can mean not moving from your position. Or pupil can mean your eye or a person. But cat and hat are three syllables long and end with at, but they are different words and different sounds in them. Hi, hi. So completely different words. What kind of stuff? Um, no, omoi, do ori ni, nara, nakereba, shin, nai. Good guess. This is actually pronounced as mi uchi. Oh. Mi uchi. And it means family members. Oh. Hi. Kurosu no mo ito wa nai. Hi. Ito with the u is to balk at, to hesitate to do. The be like, oh no, I don't want to do that. Ito. Ito do wa nai. Don't want to do. Perfect. So let's start right here with nada. Jibun no omoi dori ni nara. Dori ni is to omoi dori something. Mm, not sure what you're talking about. Um, tori means um to go through or like a road, and you can use that to modify things to mean. Like, uh, there was no fourth in the road. Things happen going straight through, as he said. Um, for example, itadori. I mean, itadori. Itadori means just like I said. Or yondatori or anything like that would mean just like I heard or anything like that. So here we have omoi modifying dori from tori. Meaning just like I omotat. What does omoi mean? Moi is a is a thought. Is a yes, it is a thought. And as you can the, see, this is a compound word. We got omoi and dori. Um, and you can assume it's a compound word because omoi is ending in e. So it means this has to be doing something with it. So just like I thought, or just like they thought. So jibun no omoi dori in this context means just like he thought or his own thoughts, because the topic of this paragraph is higure no kimi. So if it's if, because it's nara, if it's, if it's in the line of exactly what higure no kimi is thinking about, 
And then we have Nakiriba, which is it continuing that if, basically. What What's going to happen? Hi. Quick clarification, Moni. Hi. The ni following Dori. Hi. This ni mark Dori as an adverb. Is that True. right? That is correct. So, being an adverb, it would describe a verb, a following verb. Is In it a way, um, there isn't a verb here to modify. Um, you oh, could, so Mark in a eight. way, the, the verb is, um, dropped, I guess, like, sudo perhaps might be the drop verb, to do as one thinks themselves to do, right? Or mm. I guess you could argue it is the iwo ito wanai, to not balk at doing exactly what you want to do, um, but that's. But yeah, the you're right that this is a marker for turning nouns and not adjectives into adverbs. And it actually is basically always doing that with um, time phrases in Japanese basically working as adverbs, like yoyaku or shibodaku and things like that are adverbs, but they're time phrases or isoide, things like that um, are officially adverbs, but they are used to describe time. Only time it's not, right. I guess, is the location. That's why he exists, because I mean eh for a location. Hmm, hi. Right. So if it's the case right. that is it, it's if it's as I thought. Right. If it's as he thought, jibun, uh, it's oneself. If, and the oneself of this sentence if, is a subject, which is Higure no Kimi. Himself, I guess. Hi. If it is as he himself thought, if it is as he thought, then it's a nakereba. Um, naru, um, but in just the just get nakereba and nara put together. Um, nara nakereba. I mean, we, he must. He must. Think. I guess you could say nakara, nakereba could be aru, perhaps. But omoi tori ni aru is not really something you say. Um, but it's. Isn't it naru? Naru money to become? That's nakereba is not naru. That's impossible. Um, it's it's nai, right? Nai turns into ke. Reba, right? So theoretically, it could be aru, aru not nara aru, but it doesn't really make sense to translate it as that because you wouldn't use um aru like that. But if you needed to give a verb, that would be the verb behind that is aru because aru turns into nai. Um, but negative form with a if then statement. What does that mean normally? If there was a period here, it's more. It's normally mean it's an imperative. Yeah, it means like must normally. Must be. If you don't do that, he must. So here, it's kind of doing that still, saying like, not really must, but it's just a way to add stress to the nada. It's like a weird grammar. But if it's just nada, it doesn't feel very ag aggressive, but the nakereba is kind of like getting nada times two. Like... Like, it almost makes it into, like, 100%, you know? So, if this was two, he would totally, right. totally not even ito wa nai. This kind of what's doing. But, yeah, it is a mm -hmm. weird grammar point that not kid about. I'm not even sure if you could Google that. But that's what it's doing there. Hi. Right. Look at that. Hi, hi, hi. So, ji, uh, michi... Uchi. Michi uchi. Ah, uh, this is mi Remember? uchi. Mi uchi. Mi so there's uchi. a u right there. Mi uchi. My relative. So, yeah. Relative. Mi means one's body and uchi means inside. So I guess inside of your family. Mi uchi. Hi. So one's relative. 
Belki de cibün. Mi utiyo. Kuros no. Mo. Stovanai. He doesn't want. Where did want come from? Oh, he does ito wa na he 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 refuse he um he box at the idea. Ito wa u ito wa u means to balk at, to not want. Not balk at. But here it's actually a negative, so it's to not not balk at, to not, which means um he wouldn't hesitate, he wouldn't balk at even right more. Miuchio korosu. He wouldn't hesitate. He would not bulk okay. at killing his own relations, his own yep. family. If it suited his needs. If, if you thought, hey, if this would help me. If it is as he yeah. if it if he saw fit mm. at his own pleasure. The front line, ito wa nai, would not look at. Hi. Hi. To, do, dorobo, kintori. Sakintori. Sakintori. Okay, so sakintori. Sakintori. Suri. Ikagawa shi sakeba sakeba no. You would assume it's sakeba, but it's actually pronounced as sakaba. I have no idea why, but you're right. That is sake and ba, but it's sakaba for some strange reason. Sakaba, sakaba no. Chu chu chu. Nin. Chu nin wa mochirong. Pazogare gai dewa dare mo kaga. Hikure no kimi ni. Jo no kin o. I don't this know. Is this is osameru. This means to present an offering to some higher being, such as your lord or a god. Um, and here, lord, right? Higure no kimi. Um, speaking of that, you accidentally did the dweller reading, which is junin, but here it's shujin. 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 Suchin. Nope. Hi. So, what is our subject? Suchin wa mochirong. Um, and then asamete iru. The owner of the. Hi. The, the owner of the sakaba. Wa mo. Well, of course, let me say, Pasugare Gai. What does Osamete do? This part, what does Osamete do mean? To make an offering. Okay, Making so what is, offering. yes, so what is the Shujing offering? Make the offering of Jo no King. Look at that so kanji lovely. right there in the middle. We have up no from osameru to make an offering and king for money. What would you guess looking at that kanji what this word might mean? Offer up money. Yes, it is money so you offer up to people pay. above you. To make a payment to the government or to an authority of some sort. It is any it is any but any authority. Uh, if you look at if you look right. at the definition, the English one, I think it says money paid to government. 
but that's not what it means. It means money paid to anybody above you. They just picked that translation for the English. Um, this is different than the word taxes, mm -hmm. which is money paid to your government, right? Which does show up later in this book, mm -hmm. the word for actual taxes, which I think it's um, zeking, but I'm not always good with words on top of my head. So we have mm -hmm. the bar owner paying money to the government. Do you have any other information about this bar owner? Ikagawa Shi. Ikawa. Ikagawa Shi is like a suspicious or like um we have other words than suspicious. Dubious, unreliable. Ikagawa Shi. Ikawa Ikagawa Shi. It, okay, so the Lord of Twilight, the Higure no Kimi ni, he received the payment. What's the subject of the sentence? Of course. The the subject is the Shujin. So so so. So it's not the so Lord of Twilight Shujin. receives payment. It is the Shujin pays the Lord of Twilight. This is a random the nitpick. Shujin. Does anybody else pay the Lord the, of Twilight? Hi, the Suri, which is the pickpock. Hi. The, the Dorobo, which are the hi. thieves. And another category, the... Dori. Look at that kanji. Shaki. Right. So we have lending, money, and taking. What could that possibly describe? Kariru no sha, okane no kin, toru no tori. Yes, it's a debt collector. So pickpockets, debt collectors, thieves, and suspicious bar owners all present um money to the lord of twilight of course mochidon um mm -hmm. now the mochidon Chiron. right here is actually being used to describe the subject so you have chunin wa well he goes over later to have a ga right here dare mo ga so the subject of the sentence is actually dare mo which is being which is also which includes the dorobo shakin tori Suri Ikagawashi Sakaba no Shujin. So he started the subject with this and then he changes it with the Mochiron. He actually decides to go like, oh, I don't need to list people actually. So what does the Mochiron Tasogaragai de wa dare mo ga mean? Hi. So basically he changes, he changes, he make a contrast. So here we have an example of wa and ga used as a contrasting device. Right? He's saying he lists uh, he lists four categories of entities that pays, right, that offers money. But then he say, um in tasugare gai de wa, he say he using de wa as, as an emphasis. Right. As if he wanted to say, in Tasugare Gai, everybody pays. Dare mo yes. ga, meaning like, not just these people, right? Hi. But everyone pays Perfect. up. Yep. Whereas before, he uses the wa to mark like a, spe a specific a limited list of people not necessarily that would pay, he's basically he he's he's he starts he, he wa like that's the normal subject of the sentence and then he thinks better of it he goes oh wait no so that's why he needs to use the comparative wa instead of the normal wa so by default subjects in japanese like if you want to have a normal subject you normally use wa to mark it but if you want to mark something else as more important than wa, then that's when you use wa as a contrastive marker. Otherwise, ga is actually the one adding more stress to subjects. There's some exceptions to this, 
with um, multiple clauses and sentences with um, certain clauses not allowing for wa because you can't have a relative clause with a big like a relative clause means the clause is an adjective clause so the sent the subject in the sentence cannot use wa in any of those kind of clauses so by ga is used but in a normal sentence like this one which does not have a relative clause in it um at all actually um the subject by default is normally marked by wa, which would be the shujin wa. And if you use ga for shujin ga, that actually sounds kind of aggressive. So and so he starts with the normal subject, and then he goes, oh, wait, no, no, everybody in the Twilight District does it. So that everybody needs to be marked by wa, because he's changing the topic of the sentence. No longer is he just mentioning the basic subject of these four different people. He's changing it to, oh, wait, I'm not talking about those four people. I'm talking about the district. Everybody in the district pays, not these four people. Um, but these four people also play. So he changes it from... Hi. So I guess it's a little bit of restrictive clausing, but it's it's not like the wa is not here for that purpose. Though in a way it is, because like this is written. But like this is written from the main character's point of view. So there's a certain amount of humanness in how this is written so the wa here is adding for stress for the multiron so he's like you know he's always like listening to people and then goes oh wait no everybody in twilight so this is these two are contrasted but i would say the wa on the first one isn't it's more like a mistaken subject and then he corrects himself with the multiron the mm, sound human I, gives I, this sentence a lot of character of course then he said, Itte Mireba Zekin Mitai Na Monoda. Hi, so he's defining Jo no explaining. Kin. Yes, you're right, he's explaining. We say now that money mm. is monoda in a way a contraction of mono dakara? No, because kara is its own thing. Is it fair to say that monoda is sort of like in the English, which means? The thing that was before is this. Maybe. Right? He describing he describing Jo no kin as ze kin mitai na mono da. I would argue that this mono is just thing mono, but um there's nothing saying it's possible that it's not thing mono. But thing mono, the sentence would still be grammatical and make sense. It is a thing that is described as zeki mitaina. But, uh... I guess what I'm... Oh, or is it because of the mitai needed the namono? The ite mireba is what's referring to jo no kin, like, specifically. So, um, he assumes that what you, that's what you'd be confused about. He's like, ite mireba. If I was to say... What this jo no kino osamete iru means, it is zeikin mitai na mono. But it's not plainly said. It's just if I was to say, or like in other words, like if you were to describe it, and the it, you get to pick whatever you want for it. But most people reading this would pick jo no kin. So that's the only information here that someone would probably, well, specifically this whole little phrase right here, that someone could possibly be confused about. Because everybody already knows what a debt collector is, what a dodo boy is. That was way in the past. We already know what a tasugare guy is. We've talked about it before. Like the rest of these words are not new words in the context of the story. So there'd be really no reason to be defining those words. But theoretically, um, any of the words in the last clause could be being referred to it. Like if the last two were very like obvious, then possibly it could be defining who they're giving it to. Um, but you probably wouldn't use mono because that'd be rude to use mono toward a human being, right? So 
sounds weird to use that as a thing. So we're defining a word. Um, so the most logical word to define would be the noun, right? You could define a verb, but you'd probably mm -hmm. use koto instead for defining a verb. Itaina koto would be um, what I would personally use. So it's kind of looking for a noun. And this is the only noun that makes logical sense to um, define. So but you could say mitaina yatsu would be what I would use if I want to refer to define higure no kimi. Like I'd use some kind of human filler pronoun. Uh, what does zeikin um, mean? Zeikin here is tax. Yeah. So, preserving an offering of money toward the higure kimi, well, if you think about it, it's basically the same as taxes, is exactly what he's saying. Um, and osameteiru is probably already known by most kids simply because they probably osameteiru when they go to um, church, you know, like, well, Go to shrines for things. They present their dango, their coin for a wish or whatever. Um, hmm. Eight minutes. So let's see if you can do the last sentence from this clause in the time we have. Right, so, to i to te mo to i te mo hikure no to i te mo hikure no kimi no. あ、手か、たら、手か立ちは、あけぼの外の本物の絶金取りのやつ役と役人と役人と立ちが先にとはと8がでし8払えば支払えないえ相手をボーでなぐだなくたりするが Yeah, it's interesting that this is yakunin because you would assume it would be yakuhito since yaku is pronounced on its own. So interesting exception right there. Yakunin um okay so what Does is to uh, like, yeah um, public did it say public servant M mommy, yes like a... it is a government official so, so... so that's why it says zeikin tori no yakunin as a comparison to of course chakin tori right this right here is this comparison right they are chigatte but anyway, let's start with the beginning of the sentence, which to itemo. What does that mean? Hi. Right. So here we have a conjunction that say, although it can be called. Yeah, even though I, I said say, that, it's a little bit different, exactly. Hmm. So now let's start it's with the subject, different. which is what? Now he's going to define it. He said, higure, higure no kimi no. Tachiwa regarding the minions of the Lord of Twilight. Hi. And here we have that contrast of what you're wa. talking about, finally. Towa. Hi. The towa. And this is what he say regarding this towa. He say, Ake, akebo no, akebo no gai no honmono no zekin tori no Yatsunin to wa. He's saying, in contrast to the official that actually collect, you know, like, honmono. Honmono they, they, they is describing the job. Honmono zeikin and nisimono shakin. Tori. So, real tax collectors. Real. Tax collectors, officials. Hi. Legitimate tax collections. Yep. From Akebono real. Gai. So From Akebono, Akebono Gai is Gai. real tax collectors versus the minions of the Twilight. They are chigatte. What does that mean? 
Chigate. Meaning from chigao. Ooh, meaning Hi. different. Yes, they are different. These two things are different. Minions and government officials are different. And then they go over to explain how they are different. Shiharae nai means cannot pay. And that's describing aite. And then they got bo de naguttari suru. So tari suru means to do things like. So what is that last clause saying? Last one say that shihai shiharao is to pay, to make Hai. a payment. So shihara enai, when not make a payment. Hai. I did. When someone, when a, when a counterpart, Hai. when a party cannot make payment, Hai. or to that person, Bodenaku. Nagutta. Bodenagutta. That is to hit with a club. Yes. Literally, to hit Maybe. with a club. So he bodenakta risuru. Tari. Tari is such a thing as. Yes. The categories of. Basically, you could think about it that way if you mm -hmm. want to. But it's just and, and etc. Like, yeah. Um. So who's doing the nagutari? Is that the toa or the wa? We are now talking about the wa. Yes. Yep. The minions do things like hitting partners who cannot play with bulls. And that is how they are different. That's our, so they are different. So our subject, the clause here, the sentence here is minions. And then this wa is contrastive wa, not really subject topic wa. Um, and that is where we're going to pause for our halfway point. Sorry, I had to like baby you on this line <laughs> because we were like 10 minutes, gotta go fast. Okay, so I'll see you in <laughs> real soon.